Hi, I'm Nicole Pyle and you're watching our Ventura TV. Today our guest is Nancy Mira. She's a food coach on autoimmune disorders. Welcome to the show, Nancy. Hi, Nicole. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you for being here. I hear you have some interesting information for us on autoimmune dis disorders. I do. Okay. Um, what are they? Well, I'll give you a little, if it's okay, I'll give you a little background on myself. Sure. Um, I've always been a very healthy, vibrant person, a lot of energy, um, never really felt sick, you know, outside of a normal cold, what have you. And then all of a sudden I was stricken with this like god awful exhaustion. I mean, just an exhaustion that you can't imagine. And um, to not bore you with the gory details, just let's say I felt really bad mm -hmm. for a really long time and could not get any kind of diagnoses. Wow. Yeah. So finally, um, when I did, it turned out to be an autoimmune disorder or an autoimmune disease. And what that is, is that is everybody has an autoimmune system. Mm -hmm. um, most people don't know that it's in your gut, hmm. which leads me to another part of this um, information. But um, the autoimmune system is in your gut, and the autoimmune disorder happens when your body attacks itself, which... Mm autoimmune right okay and it sounds as weird as it is it's like all of a sudden your body just attacks itself mm -hmm. um, and so mine was a autoimmune disease of the thyroid called Hashimoto's uh, which is very on the rise mm. and mostly with women mm -hmm. not to say that men don't get get it but it's much lesser um, and there's a re there's a scientific reason for that is that women because we bear children Mm -hmm. um, have very heightened autoimmune systems to begin with. Ah. And so when something goes awry, that autoimmune system like flips on like a switch and mm -hmm. it really goes really adverse. It goes really against us wow. in a really high way. So instead of these, these antibodies, things that would attack like a disease or a foreign object in the body, they start attacking you. Exactly. Wow, that's no fun. That is no fun. And um, there's a lot of them out there now. Names that people have never heard of before a couple of years ago are now addressed every day in your living room. Um, fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. um, lupus, mm -hmm. all of these strange, some people don't even really believe they exist. They think they're psychosomatic. They're in your head. You're making them up. Mm -hmm. um, they're not. They're very real, and they're getting diagnosed. Um, right now, there are 50 million Americans that are living um, with an autoimmune disease, and 75% of those are women. Wow. So that's that correlation. Now, the question is, why, why now? Yeah. What, what led to that being now instead of throughout history? Exactly. Well, that's a really good question. And I will tell you that this is where my passion is because when I was out there being sick all this time and I couldn't really get any help on my own, what I found is that you really have to be your own advocate with doctors. You can't just go in. Doctors now give what they call FaceTime. Mm -hmm. is about, the average is about three minutes per patient if you're with an HMO. It's about eight minutes. It's about three minutes with an HMO, maybe eight minutes with a, with a private insurance like, like a PPO. Mm -hmm. And so that's not a lot of time for your doctor to really get to know you and your body and your case. So you have to kind of learn a lot about your body yourself. Well, a lot of people don't know that. So I went on this mission to be well because I was like, I'm way too young to not be vibrant and get a lot done. Yeah. So when I went on this and I got, finally got someone to give me a diagnosis, um, I started to do all this research and here's what I found. There's a lot of um, stuff being kicked around now, for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. about GMOs. Right, now what are GMOs? That's Just for our viewers who don't know because I didn't know for a long time. Well, it's very interesting how that is almost almost a little insidious how that's almost kept a secret and there's not too much information on your nightly news telling you what a GMO is. Mm -hmm. GMO stands for genetically modified organism or GMO. Okay. And what it is, it's what I will call a Franken food. You know how this Frankenstein and uh -huh. it was a monster made in a lab? Mm -hmm. This is food that you're fed every day that's on your grocer's shelves that has been genetically modified and it's been modified like a Franken food. It's been crossbred with the DNA, mm -hmm. which is in part of every year cell that makes you Nicole, makes me Nancy, mm -hmm. makes you a mammal, makes me a mammal, and not a plant. And mm -hmm. they cross these in a lab. And the, the biggest company that does this is Monsanto, or as Roseanne Barr coined the other day, um, Monsatan, <laughs> which um, I will back that up 150% <laughs> because it's, it's the biggest provider of seeds in our country for wow. farming. And so what that seed does is it's a seed 
for corn, let's say, mm -hmm. that has been genetically engineered, it's also called GE sometimes, the food is called GE, mm -hmm. genetically engineered to have a corn, be the corn, and then to also have the DNA from a soil bacteria hmm. that can withstand pesticide. So, so you see the soil bacteria has got nothing to do with corn. Mm -hmm. No corn in the soil bacteria, but it can withstand certain things. Mm -hmm. So they put that DNA in the corn, and the corn now has its own pesticide called Roundup Ready. And it produces, it's, it's a corn that has this pesticide in it. So you can't be washed off, mm -mm. can't be soaked out with peroxide. Or, it's in its DNA. It's in its DNA. Wow. It's part of its makeup. Wow. Now, I don't know if you have a little time to go into some of the science and how it gets on in our markets and why it, well, let me tell you first why it's really dangerous. Yeah. The, the manufacturers are going to tell you that it's completely safe and it's harmless and you don't have to buy organic and you can just eat this food. Now, first of all, let me tell you the seven most deadly crops. Um, corn. Now, if it's 100% USDA organic, your chances are going to be almost nil that it has the GMO. So with that said, anything that is not marked organic, you're looking at corn, sugar beets, mm -hmm. canola, cottonseed, and did I say soy? Mm. And soy. Wow. Those are the five top. Now, if you read your ingredients of a normal thing, soy lecithin is in your chocolate-covered almonds, let's mm -hmm. say. So it's kind of inside of everything. They find a way to sort of sneak it in. Wow. So that's, that's, not, that's not so good. It's in stuff that you wouldn't think it has to be in. Yeah, I would never think that those things would have GMOs and I think corn, while it comes out of the ground, right. it should be fine. Exactly, and it's not fine, and I'll tell you a little bit about why it's not so fine. It's designed to permeate cell walls and cause like implosions of a cell wall and breach that cell wall and so that they create tumors inside and it kills, the, it acts as a pesticide and the bugs go bye-bye. Right. The argument by Monsanto is that our systems don't have that same system that, that the targeted uh, pesticide is for. Mm -hmm. We don't have that system, so Monsanto is right. However, our gut bacteria has that same system, and so it directly impacts the integrity of the gut flora, the gut bacteria, and this is where your immune system is. Mm -hmm. So if you were to track when this product came on the market, which is the mid-1990s, it started mm -hmm. in the 70s, but got a real big push and acceptance in the 90s, mm -hmm. about 1995. Okay. If you were to chart autoimmune disorders, including autism, which is a lot of debate on the table that it's vaccines. I'm sure they're not so, there's a lot of debate. Let me not go down that road. Mm -hmm. There's a big debate about vaccines. But if you look at um, when these came on the market in the mid-90s, and you look at autoimmune disorders, and you look at autism, and you look at cancer rates, the, the, um, the, the Roundup Ready GMO stuff comes on the market at the same time the graph for all these autoimmunes, it's just cor it just correlates, it just runs, just runs side by side. You can't, you can't undo that part. They can blame it on all these other things, but you connect the dots. Yeah. And it's like, it's right there. Wow. So what do we eat then? That's I mean, a great question. How, how would you direct someone for a solution if they can't have these GMOs? That, that's great. You have to be really on top of your game. You have to start doing a little bit of research. This is not going to be enough. So first of all, if anybody ever wants to contact me, they can go on my Facebook page. I got so busy just getting phone calls, referral after referral. My aunt has this. My mom has that. My sister has this. I haven't even put together a website or anything like that. But if you Facebook me at Nancy Mura, N-A-N-C-Y-M-U-R-A, I will gladly, happily respond to any message and, and give you any information and direct you to the right places. But if you just Google what is a GMO, mm -hmm. you'll get pages and pages. A great, I cannot, every citizen that has a mouth should really watch a documentary called The World According to Monsanto. It's about an hour long documentary. It will blow your mind. You kind of won't believe it. But to answer your question, what you should do mm -hmm. is arm yourself with knowing what ingredients you're eating. Stay away as much as you can from packaged food. Eat organic as much as you can. And believe the hype because it is, it's really, it's, it's, it's pretty real. there. But you can, you can fight it and you have to just be educated. Wow, that's great. Well, thank you. We're just about out of time. 
So they can find you on Facebook, right? Yes. Nancy Mira. Mm -hmm. And you'll give them information. You have, I've seen your Facebook page. You have videos, you have pictures, you have plenty of information for them. Exactly. So if they come on there, they will get lots of continued... Continued education yes. on the subject. There That's you go. great. Thank you, Nicole. It's yeah. great. Thank you very much for your information. And thank you to our viewers. I hope you feel enlightened by this. You know where to go to find more information. And once again, you've been watching Arventura TV. We'll see you next time.